Alright, Battleground Season 10 is finally here after a two-week hiatus, which is one week longer than the usual, which was pretty dang annoying, right? But um, here we are, Battleground Season 10, and this meta is very interesting. It is not too general because some champions just get really like thrown off by it, but for the most part, it is not too bad. Um, there are some important things to know though, so I'll be going over that with you here. So first off, let's talk about the nodes in this meta, right? So first up, Hard Knock Life. Whenever you parry, you get a Disorient on you, and Disorient is just not a fun time, right? And then there's Ebb and Flow Knockdown, which is the opponent starts with a protection passive, right? And whenever you knock them down, it goes off a cooldown. But an important thing here is, at the start of the fight, and whenever the protection goes off cooldown, the defender purifies all debuffs off of themselves. Keep that in mind, because that makes some champions not so good for this meta, right? And also Dauntless, and this is actually important. The relic that you have, the spirit gauge, starts at like half filled. That's very important because relic strikers have stun passives, right? And this is vital for knocking down the opponent without parrying and getting a disorient on you. So let's check out an example of this. So here we have Venom versus Spot, and this matchup, I do one thing that is very important to notice, right? So we start off here, I get the intercept going, then I drop a parry afterwards, and then I do a knockdown to get the protection off. Now after this, I can just utilize my striker relic, because watch this. I'm just going to play it calmly, he's going to throw this P1, perfect. And then watch this. We go back in, so I go back in and protection goes off a of cooldown. So I drop my striker here, get the passive stun, drop a heavy attack, and now protection is back on cooldown. That is vital to do because that means you don't have to parry, so there's no disorient right there, and it just really strings into combos well. And then I drop the SP1 and the fight is just over. So if you do that, if you put on a relic for your best attackers, and you'll just be chilling, right? And like I said, once Evan Flow expires, all debuffs are purified off the defender, so whenever you're like building your deck, keep that in mind, and try to avoid those heavy debuff champions, right? Now let's single out some characters, and I feel like the best champions here are the champs that have a stun in combo. For example, Silk, whose feature comes out in about two weeks time, so be on the lookout for that for sure because she is a crazy strong character. Doctor Doom and America Chavez as well. All three of these champions just have that stun in combo that lets them knock down the opponent very easily, right? And another big thing here is some champions have non-contact hits, and we'll get into that later for the defense side of things, but these champions, these three characters, Silk, Doom, and Chavez, will be the best options for those characters because you can't parry those champions, right? So you can't knock them down that way. You can use a striker relic, right? But at the start of the fight, you want to do a parry at least knock down the opponent like that way. But with those defenders, you can't do that. But with these guys, you can do it, right? So for an example, we have Baron Zemo here, right? And Baron Zemo is one of the best defenders this meta because he has non-contact hits. So check this out. We go in, we get the intercept going, right? We drop a heavy attack now thanks to the stun. And now the protection is off cooldown, which is just perfect. And usually with Baron Zemo here, you can't parry the guy, right? So you can't really knock him down pretty easily. But Chavez can do it and she does it very, very well. So overall, she is one of the best options for Baron Zemo here. Probably won't be the fastest time out there for sure, but she does it full yellow bar, and that's important, right? Because with the health changes, full yellow bar has a lot of value now these days, which is just perfect. So here we go in, we drop a heavy attack again, and Baron Zemo has like the worst AI out there, man. And he's so stingy, he just doesn't throw anything. It is just really, really annoying. Now look at this, man. He finally throws it there, but he was being so stingy. But then watch this, we drop the heavy attack, the protection is now down again. Perfect, we go back in, we drop the SP2, and check this out. Some very nice damage outcome in here, look at this. Very sweet damage there, and the fight is pretty much over now to be honest. So yeah, pretty sweet time. America Chavez, very solid champion just in general, but for this meta especially, very very good. And yeah, that got us the win. So for a good playstyle loop here, knocking down the opponent before doing a massive burst of damage, or just starting a damage rotation, is ideal. For example, Masakre. Knock down the opponent, drop your SP2, do massive damage that way. This also works for champion rotations, like for example the Overseer Maestro. Knock down the opponent with the special attack, 
then you'll get your cosmic overload mode and then just drop your massive physical burst damage and that'll just be game over right and here's an example of that first off don't mind the health loss i got hit by a heavy attack and it was pretty dang brutal but um check this out I knocked him down with my SP2, which triggered the overload mode, so now I have this massive burst damage with the Fury passive up, and no protection to worry about, right? But now it goes off a of cooldown, so watch this. I go back in, I drop my special attack again to knock him down, and now I have the burst damage active once more. And this is just like, this is the way to go with Overseer, right? And it's just all about timing, right? Just time it to where the rotation starts when the protection is down. So now some champions to avoid. I would not suggest using champions that rely on both debuffs and knockdown. Example here, Cassie Lang. You want to miss some attacks, right? Then you want to drop a heavy attack to get the power stings active. But that heavy attack knocks down the opponent and that starts the protection timer cooldown. And when that goes off, all the debuffs just vanish, right? So she loses all of her damage output and it's just not a fun time whatsoever uh scorpion also doesn't work too well unfortunately but yeah most champions that rely on both debuffs and knockdown just won't be too good for this some champions rely on debuffs only and they can just time their debuffs with a knockdown for example quicksilver just build up all your whiplash knock down the opponent drop your sp2 and then like one shot them he actually works here but champions like scorpion cassie lang don't really work as well right Additionally, champions that rely a ton on parrying, for example, parry heavy characters like Captain America Infinity War, um, also Colossus. Champions like that won't be the best time out there because, yeah, Disorient does stack up pretty well. And then, like, once you have four or five stacks of those, it will just be not a fun time whatsoever. And they can just take a ton of block damage and they won't be able to trigger their abilities too well, right? Now, let's talk about the best defenders here. We have champions with non-contact hits. For example, Shuri, Baron Zemo. Very annoying characters at base in the first place. But with this like non-contact shenanigans, they just become very, very annoying with this node because you want to parry to knock them down, right? But you can't really do that. There is the relic trick in special attacks as well, but that does mess up some rotations for sure. But yeah, those like those non-contact characters probably your best defenders for sure for this meta and also champions that have protection already are just super strong here because it's hard to time like a protection with another protection for example like Korg's rock stacks it's hard to time like them going away and the protection being off cooldown as well or like being on cooldown sorry same thing with like things protection same thing with like Cersei's glancing so these three champions plus a few more will be really good for this meta I feel like so yeah, these defenders are the way to go for sure. And honestly, most generic defenders will still be the best like options for this meta for sure. Like not too much changes defender value wise. Like, you know, you'll still have your Atumas there to be good defenders. Like a lot of champions will still have a lot of value defense wise. Also forgot to mention that purify characters, pretty good shout here because they can purify the stun. So yeah, those are pretty good options as well. And a bonus here, champions with counterpunch or champions that just don't have to parry whatsoever are pretty big standouts. For example, Danny Moonstar, Mole Man, these champions will be pretty dang sweet for this meta. And yeah, like those attackers, pretty sweet. Also Ghost, who just doesn't have to parry whatsoever, pretty sweet as well. Like champions who avoid Disorient is just a very solid time. There's also Apocalypse, who is just straight up immune to it as well. There are some pretty good options here, right? And yeah, I hope this helps you out. Um, Battleground Season 10 looks very fun to play and hopefully isn't too bad whatsoever. And yeah, let me your thoughts on this meta. Like I said, I feel like it is pretty like unique, right? But also shouldn't be the hardest time out there. And yeah, that's about it for me.